Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's live video broadcast, it is Coffee with Clara and Tish. I suppose I should bring Clara in. Can yeah, you know? better. <laughs> Gosh darn it, anyway. <laughs> you got me up this morning. You, yeah, you better put me on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. I messaged you first thing in the morning, so I don't forget to, hit, <laughs> to get the link and and all the things and and confirm that this is the craziness shenanigans that we're going to be doing this morning. Uh -huh. So um, today we're going to be working on um, tumbler turners. I'm actually not going to be working on a tumbler. I got these bases at the dollar store, and I thought they'd be fun to just play around with um, and just see. If, if I like even doing this <laughs> before, they look, they look like they look like little those. What do they call them? Skinnies. Yeah, this is, this is it's a it's a cylindrical vase, mm -hmm. and it's just um it's too it's too big for the, the the little sponge, so I put it in the big sponge, and the big sponge is like yo, <laughs> uh. <laughs> stuck in my gut. Gut, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's like me trying to the last year's jeans. It's like, okay, nope, that, that you know. Too much lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> and now that's being in lockdown for too long. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hey, that's a sensitive topic. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know, whatever. We're just going to go with it, right? Right. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, um, but I forgot to grab a piece of plastic here. Grab a piece of plastic. I was going to put a piece of plastic down underneath here. Like a soul. So let's say hello really quick to the people in chat. Doris is here. Good morning, Doris. Lynn Myers is here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning everybody. Good to see you. Peppermint Paints, I think, is Denise. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And if I miss someone, I'm sorry. I only have a uh, StreamYard chat up this morning. So I only have like 10 spots that I can see. <laughs> 10 so, spots, really? Oh, just like a little yeah, bitty section? It's just like a little tiny section of, of, of stuff. The blanket so, is gone. Got it. Yeah, yeah. So um, I don't know how Michael keeps up with chat. I just don't. All right, everybody. I, so here's your chance. Now it's time to talk about Tish. She'll never know. <laughs> yeah, especially when we get to go and so yeah. Well, they're not going to talk bad about me. They like me. No. <laughs> oh yeah, uh -huh. we love you. We love you, Clara. We do. We do. So there's there's going to be a time when I get to actually make it down to Texas because I, I I not only do I have you and and Erica that I want to meet and see and hug your necks, but um, my friend uh, Al. Everybody calls her Alice. Her name is Alicia, but I call her Al. So mm -hmm. um, that's just kind of my nickname for her. And I haven't seen her in like six years. So oh I, 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 yeah, I need to Good go buddy, hug her huh? neck. Yeah, she's just one of those people that come in your life that I, we talk like once a year. Uh -huh. But it's like we never, it's like we never stop talking. We just pick up right where we left off and just fill each other in with everything that's going on and. Let me go another year. So, yep. Yeah, it's, right. it, you know, you got a good friend when you can pick it up where you left off, and you know, it may be five years. Right. But, you know, it's like, yeah, I could just pick it up. And yep. And, he, and then you have to like pry yourself off the phone. Yeah. It's like a four hour conversation. Oh, wow. Check that baby out. I got a little crazy with the color. Yeah. I'm not even going to show you the alien one. I totally botched it up. I went too, too far. <laughs> You can't go too far. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. I'll, I'll yeah. show you. Yep. Yep. Too far. No. Yep. Too far. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really pretty paperweight. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's, but, a, it's a nope. <laughs> I got, I, I got my, I showed these last night. I kind of, I don't know. The camera is not cooperating today, but, um, it turned out really cool, and I'm excited to see the other ones. I haven't unmolded them because I haven't put the second coat of resin on them Oh, yet. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
well, they're on a tray, and I put the tray in the other room, and then you know how you put things out of your out of uh -huh. your sight, then they're out of your mind, and it's then like, oh, you're yeah, out of your mind. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, so I haven't gotten that far yet. So today we're going to play with tumblers. Um, I have never used one. This will be my first time. So we're going to, when I say learn with us, I really mean learn with us because <laughs> I, I know the properties of the paint. I know the properties of painting on glass, but I've never done it in this format. Um, I never had luck with like pouring over a vase on a canvas because the canvas always looked like a hot disaster. So someone from Florida is deciding to call me right now. So I apologize for that. Hey, dude, you know, I'm busy. <laughs> it's probably, yeah, I have the oompa vibration because that wakes me up. But um, anyway, um, I know the properties of paint and I know how to do the camp, you know, do the, 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 the pour over that way on the canvas, but the canvas always turns out like a dumpster fire. So for me, yeah, <laughs> I've seen people turn it into something spectacular and I'm like, dude, but mine always dumpster fire. So, um, I'm, I've been staying away from that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, Anywho, we're going to do it this way and see how it works. I'm, I'm going to do more of a drip technique like Clara does with, um, has quite a few videos using alcohol inks in this fashion. Mm -hmm. So um, I was inspired by your video to do it this way, but I'm going to be using mixed pouring medium that I've diluted down. It's about the same consistency as what you'd use for a Dutch pour. Oh, you're just talking about applying one color at a time kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's, I was so, trying to figure out when you like, kept telling me dip technique. I was like, dip, what? And I'm thinking <laughs> literally dip it in something. And I was like, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but just, you know, dripping it on there. So, mm -hmm. and, and doing the dips and seeing how they blend. Um, I've cleaned this. Uh, I took the sticker off the bottom and used uh, rubbing alcohol 70% and a little bit of Dawn Dish soap on a green scrubby and got that sticker off, got it cleaned up, sprayed the whole bottle with this and wiped it all down really good. And then once I got it on here and somewhat level, um, I sprayed it down again and wiped it down again just very gently just to make sure that I didn't have any any sticky spots or anything. Mm -hmm. Um what yeah, I, I did an alcohol wipe on mine and uh, took it outside and did um, a couple coats of paint and primer on it uh, okay. in, 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 in pretty good wind. So it was rather interesting seeing me dance all over the place going, oh, God, don't spray me. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's cold and wet and rainy here today. So I couldn't do the priming of my tumbler that I wanted to use. So I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> yep. And plus, I don't think I, I've been I, I've been pushing myself this week, you know, because I'm fighting this flu bug, and so I'm like, okay, yeah, spray paint me should that probably not intermingle right now. <laughs> so, Understood. Um, Doris is wondering what kind of tumbler turners we are using. Oh no. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm using this one. It's called uh, Am Talk. Um, this was actually gifted to me um, by a family member that I love, darling. Dude, she's awesome. But um, Diane sent this to me because she's like, I'm done with them. I can't figure them out. <laughs> <laughs> she's so awesome. I love her. She's just like. The one time she's like, I'm old and I just, I want to be able to do it right away. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be brilliant the first time. Exactly. And she's, she's so sweet and I love her. She sent me some other stuff too. And, and just, you know, she's like, I just thought you'd like this. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I do. <laughs> so, um, I don't recommend this one, honestly. Um, not because it doesn't work, but here's my dilemma. When I'm done with this, I can't just take this pole out and put it up somewhere to finish curing. I have to let it dry completely, not just to the touch, but like cure for at least 24 hours so I can pull it off the, the pole, the whole thing off. Mm -hmm. 
And then, so I'm just kind of, I'm not real happy with this. So I'm going to have to make modifications to it. Now, if you're just doing one at a time and you're okay with just letting it chill for a day, go ahead and get this one. Because it, it, it's a strong motor. This is re relatively heavy and it's turning it really well. So um, it's got this nice um switch that's on the cord versus on the motor so if the motor gets hot you're not going to have to touch the motor i've seen a few of those that have the the little button on the back end and i i'm like well if that gets hot i don't want to burn my finger you know kind of thing but um so i might have to make some modifications to this one what do you got clara <laughs> i was waiting for that question um uh I don't have the link handy, on me, but this is something I got my, for myself for uh, a birthday present. It's like a splurge and I got it off at of Etsy and they make up the little bases and stuff. But what I liked about it is it had two of them, but it also had two drying things. So I could have a couple right. in process kind of thing. So that's come in handy. I do have this one, which is a common, a common one that you see on uh, Amazon a bunch. Oh, the, okay. Yeah. yeah. Did, you have both, to make did you have to make modifications to that one or? No, it, it pulls straight out. This one, you, you screw them in. So Yeah. I think I would like those better. It would feel more stable to me. Yeah, they definitely feel solid in there and you just got to, you know, work on the foam thing. Yeah, I've now, got... I've got two, I've got four more motors to make four more. So if I like, you know, it's like, if I like this, I can, I can, I can have at it, you know, set it up on my back table and just do a bunch of them and, yep, you know, so, um, but I've never, like I said, I've never done this. So I've been, I've been watching you and, and Erica and, and, um, Brenda from, uh, creations by baby doll. And all her tumblers that she's done. And I'm I don't know why like, I put this on. I don't know. <laughs> why? Why did you Because I that? need the space to put, fill my cup in. <laughs> I was getting <laughs> overly zealous. All right. So. Thinking cameras. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this mixed pouring medium. And I'm just going to pour it directly on the, on the thingamabob here. Just so it has a little bit of. Do hickey. A little bit of flowing space. So there we go. And then I got my little spatula and I'm gonna spread it out. I just wanted to use mix because it, it's so transparent, and that's kind of what I'm going for, is I want it to look transparent. Mm hmm So um I'm just kind of using this. You know what? I might actually just I've got a little bit of mixed water. I might actually just kind of dribble that on there. And I'm mixing with a couple of the porridge posse paints that are the apparently the pre-mixed. I got the pre-mixed. Whoops. <laughs> Should have gotten the other ones. <laughs> and, yeah, um, you can do you can do more with the with the not mixed ones. You know what I'm saying? I got a little overly zealous. That's okay. We still love you. <laughs> Oh, she's got these sealed. I get to open them up. <laughs> yeah, she, Christy, that's one thing I got to say about Christina. She likes to seal stuff up, man. I'll tell you what. I'm like, there ain't nothing coming open in this in this packaging. She's awesome, though, and I love her. She's, she's just been really great. So I'm just going to put some water on here, kind of get some of this flowing. I should have mixed some up. I didn't even think about that, but we'll just mix it on the fly. I'm wiping it off, not spreading it out. I'm giving my uh, little spoons a, uh, a run for their money. See how they work. Oh, your little, the little like spatula spoons. Uh huh. Well, I use them with resin. They do great with the resin. So it's like I can get a big pack, and they're not that expensive. So it's like mm, let's give that a try. All right, I think we've got a good base going here. Oh my 
might do a little bit of metallic in there somewhere. Uh, I think all of my colors that I mixed up for the Dutch pores are metallic. <laughs> are they? Are, are pores yeah. passe in general metallics? Mostly, yes. Mostly. Um, there are a few colors that aren't metallic, but most of them are either a shimmer or, or a metallic. Okay, she does which, shimmer and metallic in there. Okay. Yeah. Should I do copper? Or should I do gold? I'm doing copper. I got okay. purples. Oh, teals. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. I'm trying to make a mess. Aha! <laughs> Is it going to be a hot mess or pretty cool? That's what I'm kind of thinking. It's like, okay, this is either going to be really awful or really awesome. So. <laughs> Let's hope for the really cool part. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I, I'm remaining hopeful. All right. I got a butt. Hmm. Yeah, I'm on the fence. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of putting them aside as I put them on there. All right. So I'm doing a Marcy and putting the canvas underneath it. I think she puts a canvas on it underneath most things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, I think so, too. She's kind of a waste not want not kind of person, uh -huh. which I respect. I'm just not that talented. <laughs> Her and Johnny might be coming down to Texas soon. I can't wait. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, Johnny, Johnny's awesome. I Johnny's a mess. I love him. <laughs> I'm going to fling this stuff all over the place here. Sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm not sorry. Okay. Just me being polite. Wanted to start it there. Thanks, Turner. <laughs> Shit. Hey, we're going to call it Tina? Yeah, there we go. I wonder how many Turners are called Tina. I don't know. Going too fast. Slow down, Tish. Slow down. There we go. Okay. Way too much white. <laughs> Way too much. I did a bad thing. One of my balls not marked as far as what white it is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's no bueno. Oh, no. You let your Minnesota come out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, my Minnesota comes out every once in a while. <laughs> it's really funny, though, because I go down to Kentucky, and then my Southern comes out, and I'm like, where is that coming from? <laughs> <laughs> I hang around somebody. I'll start picking up their accent. I have no idea I'm doing it. Uh, we once stayed in uh, Georgia uh, for a week right after his folks had moved up there, and she, they were living with um, their parents. And right across the street was her sister. And she had the biggest Southern Georgia accent. <laughs> but she was also really, really loud, too. And just uh, one of those people, when, you walked, when she walked in the door, you knew she was there. Because it was like, hey! Da, 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 yeah. 
you know, just infectious giggles, smiles, you know, person to be around. And after right. about a week, Mike is like, I got to get you out of here. Oh my God. You're son, just like Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to go back in here with some of this chartreuse. Oh, it would probably help to close the bottle before you shake it up, Tish. That's oh. usually pertinent. Okay, I'm going to come in here with this. I right do that here. with the, the rainbow alcohol inks all the time. i got sparkle bits all over my studio. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm doing the dirty part. And it's like, you just got to go for it. Yep. I think. Just, just go. It's like, I kind of want to do like a. Just do it. Uh oh. Do we lose her? Oh, she's frozen. Elsa, get off the video. She froze her. There she is. There you are. <laughs> And my cup's done. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, I just went for it and pretty much dumped the entire cup. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's fun. I'm going to dribble a little bit of this water on here. Somebody asked me to do a dirty pour on a cup. So that's what I've been chewing on for a while. It's like, how would I do that and make it oh, look yeah. like a dirty pour? All right, I'm going to do some more of that. <laughs> we're having, we're having playtime guys. <laughs> yeah, we're just playing. We're, this is called, this is how you learn. This is called playing in paint. Experimentation. Yep. In a good way. Yep. I gotta remember my order. How's yours doing? Oh, it looks kind of cool. Really sparkly. I'm just going to let it. There's a couple of spots where I need more color because there's not a lot of color. So kind of going back in and just dropping some color in where I think it's needed. And I just missed it. Damn it. Oh, well. Damn it, Janet. It seems to be the story of my life right now. It's like, oh, I missed it. Oh, well. It's turning out really cool, though. I really do like it. Probably don't want to add too much more color, just like little drops of it here and there to kind of help break up some of the bigger spots. Mm-hmm. Go. I'm gonna drop some more silver in here. Yeah, so I'm using Payne's Gray, um, which is Liquitex Basics, Pearl Chartreuse, which is Arteza, um, and then I have this Fairy Blue Custom. Um, it's a combination of a couple of Rustoleum colors and then a few drops of um, Phalo Blue in there, so of the the golden high flow. Mm -hmm. And then metallic leaf green, um, which is uh, Artist Loft. And then Morning Pansy, which is Porridge Posse. And then Queen's Rose is what I'm calling this. It's a combination of uh, Quinacrino Magenta Berry um, from uh, uh, I can't think. Deco Art. <laughs> <laughs> have another sip. <laughs> have another I mean, sip. This is my this is my second cup of coffee and it's almost gone and I'm still like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? But um I am not a waking up person. Ask Michael. It's like don't talk to me the first five minutes, ten minutes, uh -oh. sometimes an hour that I'm wandering around. 
if I have both eyes open, like widely, yeah, then uh -huh. you can talk to me. But if like one is like half shut, <laughs> it's too bright and I haven't had enough coffee. Go away. You're too happy. <laughs> exactly. And have you but, um, like at least a couple hours before me and it's like, mm -mm. So, <laughs> yeah, the, this Queen's Rose is a quinacridone magenta, the berry, and then the Rustoleum um, ru uh, ruby. I mixed it all together and it's this really dark magenta y color. And then um, this is the cobalt, metallic cobalt blue. And this actually has a little bit of dimethicone in it. It has like one drop in that whole, in like two and a half ounces. Um, and then this is 24 karat gold. And then this is silver spoon. And okay, so here's here's my honest to God truth about Porridge Posse paints. I love their paints, like the straight up paint, paint. Like, oh, hang on, I'm grabbing it. This is Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. I love this paint, this, the, the paint. I've never used the, the pre-mix stuff that Clara has. Um, so I have no opinion on that, but this stuff is amazeballs. And you know what? It, would work, it works amazingly well in mix. Like the silver spoon, when you mix it with glue and Floetrol, it gets kind of, they get kind of angry. <laughs> they don't like each other at first. You got to mingle them a lot. A lot, uh -oh. a lot, a lot, a lot with, do the, with the flow troll and glue. Now um, you mix this and mix, not a problem. Not one single iota of a problem. Not even a little bit. And it's awesome. So um, I just. There's so much paint on this. <laughs> oh, God. I, we're not even going to talk about the amount of paint I have on here. Yep. 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 There's a lot of paint. No idea. But you know what? It's fun. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm gonna put it guys down. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so much paint. Drippy drippy. Okay, so these are the co colors I've got from Porridge Posse. Copper okay. Peony. Masquerade Shimmer. Oh Shelly's. Oh, that masquerade shimmer is a maze ball. Is it? And oh. vine Vineyard Violet. Oh. The Vineyard Violet is is one of my favorite purples. Mystery White. <laughs> yeah, what? I got a Mystery White. <laughs> a Mystery White, okay. <laughs> hey. The bad girl did not label, oops. Uh, I got Lumiere Blue, which is a gorgeous blue color. What so, is, who is that from? Uh, Lumiere uh, by Jacquard. Okay. And then uh, golden. De oh god, the I, I love this purple. is my favorite purple. The dioxide, but you know, dioxazine purple. One. Yep, that one. <laughs> and then this is another Lumiere, and it's halo green, and it's one of those color shift greens. Right. So it's like a green gold. Yeah, really I know. Really I gotta pretty. bring out my color shifts again, but. And that's that color there. I'm gonna mix them all in mix. Maybe a few in flow trial, but I, I, I've, I've kind of, but there are still things in flow trial with flow trial and, and glue that I like to do. Like all my colors, I have all my colors mixed in flow trial and glue for like Saturday night shenanigans where everybody wants these weird colors. So I have like all these weird colors. Um, just in case. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, People like having fun with my brain, I guess. I don't know what the deal is. But <clears throat> so anywho. Um Maybe we're not having fun with you. Yeah, I'm messing with my phone with brain. So I'm just gonna torch this and we're gonna let this spin and see what happens. It's really kind of cool. It's very marbly looking. And the paint is just dripping off into this, into this puddle. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. And then I do have plastic down, so if I want to, I can uh, use the skin for something. I should have gotten a tray out so I could transfer this. 
Oops. Oh, I'm just going to let it. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a tray. <laughs> okay. I might just take this stuff from the bottom and put it there. <laughs> Shading of the heart. I'm an impatient crafter. Yep, me too. You'll never see me do uh, kind of cross stitch or anything that requires me to to hurry up and wait. I, I hate waiting. I hate waiting in the line at, at, at Kroger. And let's see what this does. I hate waiting in line. I hate, I, I, that's why I don't like going to movies. I hate waiting for the movie to start. It's like, I just want it to start. She's back. Mm -hmm. Those my notifications. We go for a ride. I put some paint on the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But here's the nice thing about working with glass: if you don't like it, you can take a razor blade and scrape it off. That's true. All right, I'm going to do some with my leash here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know Flippy's. Yeah, we no. have a uh, earbuds cord attached, so we have a leash. <laughs> I, I I have the same thing because I don't have Bluetooth on my on my computer, so I can't connect my headphones. Um, so I'm I'm leashed in as well. I have just an an aux cord, so my cheap little aux cord that I got at Five Below. <laughs> I love that store, though. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. I can see some of the, the Mythico. And, see, here's the thing that I'm curious about is um, because, because it's so tra translucent, transparent, the mix is. I mean, um, so is Floetrol, but this is like, it's not matte like Floetrol is. This has got the gloss to it. So I want to, all these places that it's breaking away, mm -hmm. where the Dimethicone has kind of worked its magic, or the, even just the 20, I, I don't, th I think it's the 24 karat gold that's just pulling away because I don't have, the only color that has Dimethicone in it is this cobalt blue. And I didn't get a lot of cobalt blue where the, like this big patch of gold is at. There's not cobalt blue there. So where's this cobalt just, coming from? The cobalt is just being, you know, doing its thing. So, but I'm going to fix something that's bothering me. But anyway, um, hopefully I'm going to fix it and not make it worse. There we go. But, um, you do your magic. <laughs> That's my little wand. Okay, I gotta wait for that one to come back around. Um, but I forgot what I say. Anywho. But yeah, the, the mythicode isn't even in the in the paints that's pulling away. But I wanna see how transparent it is, you know, as far as being able to see through it and because I have an idea. Because Raya, love my cat, but good God almighty, that cat. <laughs> she uh, decided she was going to break one of the lamps in the other room, in the living room. Oh, no. And it's just a plastic, you know, it's a Walmart special. Inexpensive lamp. Inexpensive lamp, but I know that I can fix the plastic. Mm -hmm. You know, just glue it together. And I thought, well, what if I did an acrylic pour over the top of it to kind of cover the crack, you know, and cover all the glue? And I'm like, well, let's see how this works, you know, as far as transparency goes. I'm going to put a flashlight in there and see how it glows through because, it, you know, if it's cool, then I'm going to do it, you know. So this is my experiment, and it's turning out wicked cool. I like how these colors are coming together and and everything i'm kind of great I, I i think just for those of you out there i don't think the the layer of the mixed pouring medium was necessary so much as maybe 
just some plain old water, just misting it with some water to help it flow would have oh, been just a bad idea. Good. Yeah. Um, just to, cause I'm noticing a lot of it down underneath here. A lot of the, the, the water that's down here is, is the, the actual mix. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my review so far. Um, I'm going to let this turn for probably till about noon. Um, you know, once it quits dripping, um, cause it's still dripping. I got so much paint on here, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'm probably going to let it rotate. Um, I'll probably, I probably won't torch it again cause it doesn't really need it. I don't see, I'm looking at it in the glare of the light as it's turning around and making sure that there's no air bubbles, any bumps. Um, and I don't see any, but this right here is really cool. And I'm excited for this to dry just to see the effects and then see what happens. Up. Yeah. Yep. So how is yours going lady? It is going. I'm a little worried about what was in my mystery white and whether or not I screwed it up. Why? What was in your mystery white? Well, that's the mystery. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to kick myself for not labeling this. And now I get the labeling thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but it, it's here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. While you're right. showing me, did you tape the top of your tumbler? Nope. No? Okay. Nope. But see how the white looks a little weird? This is the canvas that was underneath it. It almost looks like it's too watered down. Yeah, it could have been. Um, well, which whites do you have? I have, oh, I've been using the Amsterdam white. I did one Liquitex white. Okay. But that one's actually labeled. And I'm wondering if this is the Dutch pour version. Right, because I was just going to say, you probably, it looks kind of like you use the titanium white, but very, very thinned out. Because mm -hmm. it's getting that, that dispersed look to it. Sorry, guys, I know I'm on in here everywhere. That's okay. But, yeah, I, um, I have to say thank you to Marcy and to, <laughs> and to Brenda and to you and to, and, and, and Erica for you know giving me inspiration enough to finally bite the bullet and just do this because i've had this i've had this turner since like i don't know august <laughs> and you know i inherited a couple other ones too that need some modifications and fixing to them and mm -hmm. so all in all if i you know if this is a thing that i can do then which i'm really loving this it's just really cool i'm hoping it stays cool but um it, you know, oh. if it's something i can do then i'm gonna do it my video footage is so like catching it so often on the turn oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go yeah well, well that's why like you, were, you know elsa came and visited us and froze you <laughs> yep so but yeah, if this is something that I, you know, I can, I can have fun with and, you know, just cause, okay, here's my thing is I get, I get bored with doing all the computer stuff and editing stuff and setting up this and doing that and editing pictures and making thumbnails and putting timestamps in and doing all these things. And I just need something that I can work on really quick and just, you know, take a half an hour, an hour and just create something and then i can go back to all of that for a couple of hours yep. you know and i think this is going to be one of those things where you know i can just create this and 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 do this but these bottles these bottles i got two of them for a dollar at the dollar store at the dollar tree um so i'm going to order that's one thing I found out too a little while back and i think i've shared it with you guys before is you can actually go online you usually have to buy case quantities, so it's not a dollar. It's more like $24. But if it's something like bottles or cups or things that you're going to use in bulk anyway, mm -hmm. um, it's worth it. Because I actually looked at the pricing for these same bottles on my bottle shop place that I, that I have for my bath and body stuff. And they were the same price. But you had to buy, you had to buy their case quantity 
which was, I think, 144 or something like that. So it would have been $144 versus like $24. So um, that's what I'm going to, this is going to be my Dutch pour bottles. All my Dutch pour mixes are going to go in these bottles and be labeled white for mix and blue for Floetrol. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm not going to put the Mythicone in the metallic blue, but I had a little bit of that I had from when we were testing the, the, the coconut oil and I had a little bit left in a cup and I'm like, well, I'm not going to throw that away. It mixes like gold. So um, I just mixed more of it in there. So there's like one drop in like three ounces of paint. So yeah, I know eventually it'll just go away. So now this is really cool. I think I'm going to, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to let this turn until it doesn't drip anymore. I added some of the um, Amsterdam white uh, in mix on it. See if I can get more of a, a bright white instead of a washed out white in there. So it's, it's an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but. Yeah. And you just did a dirty pour on there, didn't you? Mm-hmm. That looks so cool. I just gave it a couple of like little stripes of white just to get a little bit of contrast in there. Right. Now you use the porridge posse paints though, right? Yeah, I know it may or may not work together. Okay. We well, it'll be, out. it'll be the cool experiment to see, you know, at least, at least a step in the, in the direction of an experiment. Mm -hmm. Cause that's my next, that'll be my next um, purchase after my resin. I got to order resin. I need resin really, really bad. But um, um, I was going to get some porridge posse premixed paint so I can see how they look and see how they flow and, and, and everything. So um, I can give a review on them, at least for my, and I, you know me, I'll be honest, mm -hmm. you know, and here's my thing. I would rather promote Christina Welsh. I would rather promote like mixed media girl and her cups and Brian and his poor toys and, and Krista and Debbie with their mix and get them promoted and get them out there because you know, they're, they're, you know, artists for artists. And I just, I, I believe in that versus going to Michael's and, and buying liquid text paints. Yes. I love liquid text paints. I love golden paints, but if I can find a color that's made by an artist, I'm going to buy that before I go out and buy golden. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Cheryl has joined us and Jeff B has joined us as well. Hail Jeff B. So yeah, we've got some really cool. Oh, that's really cool. I like that white. Let's let's you, you have to shoot me some pictures when it dries. Cause now my curiosity is peaked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, going to be testing out CC DIY uh, resin. I want to actually try that resin. I've, I've been watching a lot of Tumblr videos, and that is one that's very common for their, um, and they have the high temp um, resistance, whereas that Unicone, the unicorn mm -hmm. and that other one too they don't have the high I, I actually went to their website and looked on their sds sheets and um they don't have the temperature resistance that like stone coat does that uh cc diy does so um i just you know i want to make sure that it's got that if i'm going to put it on a tumbler where they're people are going to be putting hot things into i want it to be able to resist that heat and not yellow you yeah. know, so um, that's why I'm I, I'm going to use the the um, uh, what's it called the unicone the unicone resin to coat my uh, canvases because it does mm -hmm. have a very high UV resistance to it, but it doesn't like heat. So I figured it'd be safe to use on canvases and and other works like that. So yep, yep, um, I agree. I like having I have like having stuff with heat resistance because you never know how the person right and is going to use it unless it's artwork you know it's not an issue right you know and i would rather i would rather it be um resistant and not need to be than not resistant and it needs to be yeah Does that makes sense you yeah. know 
So like all my, uh, all of my coasters are coated in stone coat, um, resin, um, tumblers. And the thing with the CC DIY, um, resin is it's very comparable in price. So, you know, I want to play with it and see how it does. I'm going to take a couple of white tiles and throw them out in the sun and see how the UV works and just, you know, do my, my normal testing with it. So, mm -hmm. cause honestly, unless it's someone like Clara or Erica or someone that I know and I can trust their opinion, I don't trust their opinion. Cause I'm thinking, oh, they're just saying that cause they want to sell me stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. We'll definitely be honest with you. That's exactly, and I know that's why I, I, I respect you guys, and yeah. and and I know that if hey, if I need something, you know, you guys aren't going to do me wrong. So that's why I have my handful of people, and I'm I'm honest with you guys. This paint is worth every penny. Mix is worth every penny. And the next time, next Tuesday, when I do this, I have it all all the math figured out for mix versus flow troll versus glue versus glue and flow troll. I have all the math. I'm going to make some little, little sheets, um, little, what do you call it? Overlays. So you guys can actually see the numbers. Um, so you guys know what you're getting into because a lot of people do this as a hobby and they really don't care, you know, what they're, they're paying for it. But some of us run this as a business and we need to know what our costs are so we can, recuperate it so well awesome thank you so much angela for the super sticker i appreciate you you are awesome and that's one thing <laughs> that's the other thing that i've been working on is new animations for super stickers and super chats and um but i fall asleep at the computer <laughs> so Oh, my internet's rough today. I'm sorry. I apologize, everybody. <laughs> uh, you're out in the country. Nope. Okay. This is not... I'm going to turn this off now, I think, because all the paint is going to the end here because it's just slightly sloped. It's starting to get... I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it on. We'll see what happens. Because this is starting to pull away here, and this is really thick here. Maybe that'll be a cool effect. We're just going to roll with it. Just roll with it, Tish. Gosh darn it. I know. It's hypnotizing. <laughs> it's Very hypnotizing. Oh, Posh, uh, Paint, uh, how does it do as far as torching, or do we need to? Porch Posse? Um, such a, uh, I don't know about the premix stuff, but I know that when I mix it with um, Floetrol or Mix, it's still really thick, so I do torch it a little bit. Okay. Um, Just to release some of the bubbles. Um, yeah. I was seeing a couple of things. I was like, hmm. But I'm going to put this plastic down right here like a so. That, that way that. I can gauge how much more paint is dripping off of here. And when I can stop it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go let this cure. And then I'm going to take this tape off. And then I'll put tape up higher. And then when I resin coat it, I'll let it sit up mostly and then because I think I'm going to use that unicone because this doesn't need to be temp high temp resistant. It just needs a resin coat to keep it sealed. Mm -hmm. So because um, I don't think anybody's going to pour boiling water into a vase. But hey, you know. Yeah, you're probably people, safe on that part. People are a little strange out there, though. So, <laughs> 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 Well, hello, Jelly Duck. Good to see you. Yeah, with all the distance learning, our internet has been spotty too. Yeah, it. You know, I run off of an AT T and T hotspot modem thingy, my Bob. I don't know what it's called, honestly. Michael does all that stuff, not me. Um, but because we don't have um, DSL or cable internet out here, so it's all hotspot stuff. Oh, I wonder if both the boys are gaming. <gasps> oh, Fred, I bet that's what's going on. Take away their cookies. <laughs> Grr. Grr. <laughs> All right. So um, next week we're going to be doing 
tumblers, but we're going to be doing them with resin. And I'm hoping that this weekend I feel better so I can get some tumblers prepped because I have some old tumblers that I'm going to sand off and just prime because cool. they, you know, just were old, like promotional tumblers. I'm like, well, they'll be good for testing. No one's going to have them but me. So, you know. Okay, Cheryl asked question, or somebody asked this question. Cheryl just happened to bring it up. When can you stop the tumblers from twirling around? How long before the paint resin hardens enough? Um, uh, am I breaking up too bad? No, I hear you. Okay. Um, it, usually when resin gets to the point where you can touch it and it's not feeling sticky, um, that's the uh, time in which you can take it off. Um, but I would put it like in the right position, if you, especially if you got resin on the bottom of it. Um, or you can also turn it off at that point, too, and just leave it on your tumbler until it gets fully cured. That's right. one way to do it. Uh, an easy way to figure that mm -hmm. out is mm -hmm. your drips that are on the bottom, touch them. If you can touch them and it doesn't feel like anything is coming off on your Oh. Coming on your fingers, I'm assuming. She's cutting out again. So, yeah, judge it by your drips from what you have down below. Mine are going to be a little bit more difficult because I have all this water down here. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, you cut out, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, okay. It's usually but, about an eight, 8 to 10 hour mark kind of thing. Right. I, I'm For me, I'm just going to gauge how much paint is still dripping off. Like, I still have a little bit of paint that's dripping off. Mm -hmm. So... Um, once it stops doing that in like an hour's time, then I'll turn it off. So, um, and then put it in an upright position so <clears> I can keep trying or something. I'm just going to leave it on here because leave I can't, it. I can't pull this off. I can't pull That's this. That's right. That's right. So I have to just leave it and it's a little annoying, but. <laughs> it, it was resident to be honest with you. What I normally do is I do it in the evening, you know, like around just before dinner time. And then that way I can pull them off in the morning. And that's usually almost always solid as far as a safe time to pull off the resin ones. Right. And I, you know, here's, um, I think it's just kind of like play around with it. And, and cause <coughs> Claire is in Texas. I'm in Southern Illinois. If mm -hmm. you're in, you know, North Dakota, you're going to be a different, different, or Arizona or California, you're going to have a different climate, different humidity, different, all these things. So, you know, you might have your central air on where I have the heat on, you know, yeah. so you're going to have different air, um, airflow, different, all these things. So just play around with it. But like, like you were saying, you'll gauge it where your, your drips are coming off you know, and, and see how dry your drips are. I figure if, if it's not dripping paint anymore, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty stable. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And keep your environment still warm while your resin is start, is doing the curing process. Definitely. Right. So yes, absolutely. Um, just, you know, this has just been the, you guys learning with us. I mean, cause mm -hmm. Claire is using a paint that she's never used before. I'm doing a technique I've never done before, but hey, it's looking kind of cool. I, I I don't know how it's going to dry, but you know we're going to go with it. I was getting and a little I, sun on there, and it was sparkling. It was looking pretty. Oh, look at all! Oh, look at that green. The halo green is just nuts. I love oh, it. Oh, it's so pretty. Do you have I, a bunch of chameleons? No or interference colors. No. Do you have any? I have, uh, uh, two, two. Okay. I have two and they're the, the, well, the one that you threw in my little, in my little goodie box, I think you uh -huh. sent me one. And then I have one that I ordered from, from Erica. Okay. So, yeah, um, well, why don't we do a black tumbler and then we can play with some um, colors on that. Cause that inner, Interference okay. and chameleons look amazing. Okay, I w I've got black primer. So last Hi. time Menard, last time Menards had their bag sale, I went in and bought like six bag six 
cans of each color primer. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad nobody has a bag sale around me. I'd be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can I bring my old bag? <laughs> Go well, get those IKEA like, bags. <laughs> I know. I was like, dude, I need an IKEA bag. Well, we were trying to put my my box of rags that I get in the bag, and it didn't fit. Well, it fit, but it took up the whole bag. I'm like, okay, for a dollar fifty, I would rather put all this paint that I want to get in there because I got a bunch of Rust-Oleum paints and a bunch of spray paint. You know, the spray primer and some of the spray clear coat and just a bunch of stuff that I wanted to get. So um, I just, you know. Hey, mixed media girls in the house. Hey, Marcy. Well, hey, Marcy. Good to see you. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. You're up with the sun. Because <laughs> it's 830 over in, over in California. <laughs> I just, I guess I should say that because I'm, I'm, I was up at 6 o'clock this morning, but I'm not awake yet. And, and Marcy, yes, I put a canvas underneath. Yes, yeah, she was girl. good. She's a good girl. <laughs> I did not because my canvases usually look like a dumpster fire if I put them underneath there. I thought about, <laughs> I thought about putting tumblers. Like if I when I do this again, I'll put um not tumblers um tiles. I'll put tiles underneath. That's a good idea. Just, you know, and then I, if I don't like it, I can just peel it off. So, but I'm I'm really loving what this is doing. I'll probably turn it off here. Um. In a little bit though because it stopped dripping so i don't know we'll see i don't know i put a lot of paint on that <laughs> there's a lot of paint there was a lot of paint it's dripped off there was a lot, lot of paint, paint on that well it, and it that, is so flowing it's so like here's my thing i was i did the mix pouring <laughs> i did the mixed pouring medium on top of the glass first and i shouldn't have done that i should just spray it with a little bit of water so there you go there's a learning point <laughs> Just use a little bit of water. And, um, oh, there it goes again. It's funny because uh, all of a sudden you'll see this, like, big bubble and it'll just drip off. But anyway, uh, okay. Those boys so. are gay. Grr. <laughs> all right. Grr. I, you know, I haven't played a game in a long time, and I'm afraid to because I'm afraid I'm going to get sucked into the vortex, and I've got too much work to do. And <laughs> But I would really love to sit down and play some Halo. <laughs> But I can't. So, but okay. So next week, uh, join us for that. Uh, the 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 reveal of that. I was pointing at that. See, not enough coffee. I have words in my brain. I just can't communicate them down to my mouth. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so join us next week. We're going to do some resin tumblers. Um, uh -huh. The reason why I want to do tumblers um, this month is because Mother's Day is coming up. Father's Day is coming up. And if we can help people learn how to do these things and, you know, one for their business, if if they do, you know, craft shows or have Etsy or, or um, you know, whatever they have available to them to sell on, they can sell, you know, gift items. Um, if their artwork is not necessarily selling, at least you can sell some some gift items because everybody has birthdays, everybody has Mother's Day, Father's Day, you know, Grandparents' Day, Groundhog's Day, you know, that they give gifts for. So, you know, trying to find something practical or if you're just a hobby crafter, and I don't say just as it like it's bad. I'm just saying if you're the, if you are, you know, a hobby crafter and you're doing something for Mother's Day, Father's Day, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, those kinds of things. Um, we're hoping to help you learn so you can, you know, we make it's the also mistakes. It's a lot of fun to expand your horizons a bit in even That's the mediums you're familiar with. Exactly. You know, and, and try different things that you normally wouldn't try. So, mm -hmm. um and that's kind of where that's at. So that's why I thought tumblers would be a good thing because we're starting to get into, you know, the summer months here in the, you know, in our hemisphere, not in the Australian hemisphere. So, um, but that's just my thinking. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong. If you don't like this video, you know, smash the thumbs down button. But, you know, if you like it, smash it up because, you know, that helps. And if you found this information valuable and You'll just kind of like this chill vibe. Share 
this video out and and let other people know that we are here. Well, thank you, Marcy. I appreciate you for the super sticker. You are awesome. I lost Clara. <laughs> But she'll be back, probably. <laughs> but I'm going to end the, the live stream so um, we can go on with our day. I need more coffee, I think, and something to eat. So you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.